This electric fence energizer has um, been in use for about six years. And I noticed this year it was having some issues. I was not getting output. So I decided to open it up, see what's going on. And uh, basically, you know, this is just AC coming in and you have a transformer and uh, you have your output leads here. There's also a large capacitor here, but you might see it here and you'll notice there's some actual burn marks uh, right there. So we're shorting out there in a the transformer. Fortunately, uh, I had it, another fence energizer. Uh, I got at a yard sale, but you'll notice that one of the differences is this says it's for, it's like light duty recommended for pets and other small animals. Whereas this one, you know, the picture it's, you can tell it's, it's for livestock, that type of thing. So this one's got more juice to it. And one of the other things you'll notice about the internal differences is uh, this one has the capacitor, oops, and this one does not. So one of the things I'm gonna do to make this one um, a little bit more uh, powerful is to just cut the capacitor out of here and solder it in place here because the capacitor is just a energy storage um, device. So it will store um, energy so that when something does touch the fence, a larger amount of um, energy flows out of the fence into whatever is touching it. So anyways, this is the before and all I'm going to do is cut the leads here and then solder the leads uh, onto this side. We'll see how it changes. I'm not an electronics expert, um, but just looking at the label on this capacitor, I can see that it's a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. Uh, the Z5U is in reference to the material between the metal plates and the capacitor, and then it's rated for up to 3,000 volts. So I know the fence has a, just under 1,000 volts, uh, so this is easily rated uh, for that. And um, anyways, so... We're just gonna put this back in place. One of the things I did is I marked the positive lead uh, right after I took it off the other side. I don't think it matters, but you know, I'm no electronics expert and I just make sure I'm gonna style it the exact same orientation uh, in the new Energizer. So here I've got the capacitor uh, soldered in place. All right, so we got our Energizer installed and you can see uh, this is just the positive end going to the fence and then this is the negative lead going to the ground, and now let's measure the voltage and do a function test with by touching the fence. Um, was a success, I actually fried my multimeter. You know, this is really only rated for 600 volts. So previous measurements I've gotten just under a thousand. Um, it was just at its upper limit, but basically I fried this thing, which is unfortunate because I've had it for about 20 years. But anyways, uh, the good news is we had much greater sparking and uh, I'm gonna try to show that to you, what I mean. Here you go. Meter's like, stop it. Uh -oh, that doesn't sound good. Well, so this is gonna be kind of scary, but we're gonna do uh, function test number two. More zap. One, two. Three. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> um, all I gotta say is that shock was about, I'm guessing five times more powerful than the one that I experienced last night. So anyways, good to go.